Namaste student this is Sanjay Nad today's session is on rotation and revolution of the earth chapter 3 in this session we'll specially learn about revolution of the earth in the previous session we already discuss about rotation this is part 2 icc standard 9 Now we'll understand what is earth revolution. A revolution occurs at the earth moves around the sun called annual motion. As you can see in this animation, earth on its own orbit revolving about the sun on a particular path and same time it is also rotating on its own axis. As you can see even all other planets are doing the same. Time of revolution is 365 1/4 days that equals to 8766 hours. This is adjusted after every 4 year called leap year. The speed of the earth revolution is about 18 miles per second on its own orbit. Now we'll understand earth's revolution and its first major effect. Due to revolution of the earth on its orbital path once in a year, earth is near to the sun and this position is perihelion and is on 3rd of January. The distance from the sun would be 146 million km. at this point or on this particular orbital path when the earth is closer to the sun the earth moves faster whereas on the earth on its orbital path farther from the sun this position is called aphelion and the date is 4th of july and the distance is about 151 million km from the sun this position is called aphelion on this orbital path farther from the sun earth moves slower Now we'll learn some fact about the perihelion and aphelion position. When the earth is farther from the sun, the direct rays will fall on northern hemisphere that keeps the northern hemisphere warm and hot. As you know that the northern hemisphere is more covered with the land mass, the earth radiate more heat and it keeps the northern hemisphere warmer. Whereas on the perihelion position the direct rays will fall on southern hemisphere the northern hemisphere will be deprived of direct sun rays that keeps the northern hemisphere cooler due to this reason the northern hemisphere is relatively cooler and experience winter now we'll understand the perihelion aphelion position of the earth about the sun with the help of a video as you can see the earth revolving about the sun in a unique elliptical path or the orbit This is the latest information about the revolution of the earth about the sun. Now while the earth is revolving about the sun there are positions that we have demarcated here as you can see this closest position of the earth about the sun is the perihelion and the farthest position of the earth from the sun is called the aphelion. At one point of time the earth that revolves about the sun will be closer to the sun at another point of time the earth is a little bit farther from the sun now this position of earth about the sun during revolution it oscillate with certain interval the perihelion and aphelion position now we'll learn the major effects of the earth revolution and some facts variation in the length of the day northern hemisphere is inclined towards the sun for 6 month and southern hemisphere during other 6 month as you can see with the help of the diagram we'll understand what are the major effects There are four earth has been shown on this diagram. These are the different position of earth in a year. On 21st of March, day and night length on equator is equal. It is due to the sun shine vertical over the equator. Same condition is also observed on 22nd of September. Day and night length on equator is equal due to the vertical rays of the sun falling over the equator on 21st june the vertical rays of the sun will fall on tropic of cancer it is due to the inclination of the earth 23 degree 30 minutes and facing towards the sun on that day the arctic circle will experience 24 hour of daylight and antarctic circle will experience 24 hours of darkness same situation is also seen on 21st of december vertical rays will fall on tropic of capricorn in southern hemisphere this is due to the inclination of the earth towards the sun this time the southern hemisphere is facing towards the sun on this day arctic circle will experience 24 hour of darkness and antarctic circle will experience 24 hour of daylight 
now we'll see some major effects of earth revolution and visual interpretation this is an extended learning as you can see earth on its own axis rotating axis of the earth north pole and south pole illuminated part 23.5 degree tilted on its own axis relationship between the location of the overhead sun and the seasons we we'll learn while the earth is revolving about the sun the direct rays of the sun will fall on earth at 90 degree is called overhead sun as you can see while it is revolving and rotating the circle of rotation remain constant spring equinox 21st or 22nd march as you can see the direct sunlight is falling on equator at 90 degree angle northern hemisphere will experience spring equinox and southern hemisphere will experience autumn equinox these are the some of the important latitudes and their angle of the sun rays falling on different latitudes also we can see the length of the days 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night will experience now we'll see the position of the earth about the sun summer solstice 21st or 22nd june as you can see the direct rays of the sun will fall on tropic of cancer at 90 degree angle and you can see the part of illumination and northern hemisphere will experience summer solstice and southern hemisphere will experience winter solstice at this position earth will be tilted at 23 degree and half facing towards the sun you can see the angle of sun rays at different latitude all the important latitudes are marked places of arctic circle experience 24 hours of daylight places below antarctic circle experience 24 hours darkness now it's the autumn equinox 22nd of september the direct sunlight will fall on equator at 90 degree angle as you can see in this visual northern hemisphere will experience autumn equinox southern hemisphere will experience spring equinox as you can see the angle of sun rays falling on different latitudes the length of the daylight will be equal 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night while the earth revolving about the sun now will reach to the position where earth will experience winter solstice 21st of december as you can see earth is tilted on its axis and the direct rays of the sun will fall on tropic of capricorn at 90 degree as you can see half part is illuminated and half part is in dark northern hemisphere will experience winter solstice and southern hemisphere will experience summer solstice you can see the arctic circle and antarctic circle the angle of rays falling on different latitude length of the daylight will vary places of arctic circle experience 24 hours of darkness places below antarctic circle will experience 24 hours of daylight now we learn the reasons for the seasons on earth this one is a very important topic in motions of the earth the seasons on earth are caused by the 23 degree 30 minutes tilt on its own axis there is a inclination of the earth and supported by rotation it is also supported by the position of the earth around the sun as you can see in the diagram summer is warmer than the winter in each hemisphere because the sun rays hit the earth at more direct angle during the summer than the winter as you can see in this diagram the position of the earth in summer solstice direct rays of the sun is falling on tropic of cancer the northern hemisphere will experience summer season and southern hemisphere will experience winter whereas on 22nd december the direct rays of the sun will fall on tropic of capricorn at 90 degree angle and southern hemisphere will experience summer and northern hemisphere will experience winter the tilt of the earth's axis give us the seasons apart from the tilt of the earth's axis give us the seasons there are other factors supports 
रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ द अर्थ इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ द अर्थ एंड पैरलिज्म ऑफ द अर्थ ऑन इज ओन एक्सेस नो यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज पैरलिज्म अर्थ ऑन इज ओन एक्सेस द टिल्ट ऑफ 23 डिग्री 30 मिनट्स ऑन द वर्टिकल प्लेन थ्रू आउट द ईयर द अर्थ व्हाइल इज रोटेटिंग ऑन इज ओन एक्सेस एंड सेम टाइम आल्सो रिवॉल्विंग अबाउट द अर्थ द एक्सेस ऑफ द अर्थ विल रिमेन पैरेलल टू ईच अदर there is no change in the parallelism of the earth axis these are the primary reasons for the seasons on earth now we'll understand the phenomenon of season in detail the four seasons is the effect of the tilt of the earth's rotational axis as you can see in this diagram it is very nicely explained over here earth's position at the center and there are four position of the earth and different point of time in the year we'll take the first one spring equinox triggered on 21st march direct rays of sun will fall on equator and both the hemisphere will experience equal length of days that is 12 hours of days and 12 hours of night the journey continues at this position summer solstice will be triggered on 21st june direct rays of the sun will fall on northern hemisphere at 90 degree and northern hemisphere will experience summer and southern hemisphere experience winter and the journey further continues now once again the earth will experience equal days and night this position is called fall equinox or autumn direct rays of sunlight will fall on equator at 90 degree angle both the hemisphere will experience 12 hour of daylight and 12 hour of night on 22nd september both the hemisphere will experience equal length of days and night further the journey continues at this position the winter solstice will trigger direct sunlight will fall on tropic of capricorn at 90 degree angle northern hemisphere will experience winter and southern hemisphere will experience summer as you can see these two pictures been shown over here it has been zoomed the first one summer solstice 21st june direct rays will fall on tropic of cancer northern hemisphere will experience summer and southern will experience winter another example has been shown over here with the help of the diagram direct sunlight will fall on tropic of capricorn 22nd december southern hemisphere will experience summer and same time northern hemisphere will experience winter now we'll understand what is solstice on 21st june and 22nd december vertical rays of the sun will fall on tropics days are long and nights are short in the respective hemisphere as you can see in this diagram the direct rays are falling on tropic of cancer at this point of time the days will be longer and the nights will be shorter but during winter solstice direct rays will be falling on tropic of capricorn in southern hemisphere the days will be longer and nights will be shorter it means longest day and shortest night now we'll understand what is equinox on 21st march and 22nd september the sun shines vertical over equator equal days and night 21st march and 22nd september the position is called equinox means equal days on 21st march the direct rays of the sun will fall on equator at 90 degree earth will experience equal length of day and equal length of night it is also called vernal or spring equinox on 22nd september the direct rays of the sun will fall on equator also experience equal length of days and equal length of night is called autumnal equinox now we'll understand what is equinox and solstice with the help of a simulation as you can see the earth rotating on its own axis at the same time it is also revolving about the sun it completed one revolution in 365 days or one year the part facing towards the sun is illuminating as you can observe that the part that is facing towards the sun is changing its position due to the rotation of the earth on its own axis it completed one rotation in 24 hours or that the march equinox in the direct sunlight fall on equator all locations 
on Earth will experience equal length of day and night, that is 12 hours of daylight. Earth at June solstice. As you can see, the direct rays are falling on Tropic of Cancer at 90 degree. Now the Northern Hemisphere will experience summer. 24 hours of daylight will experience in Arctic Circle and 24 hours of darkness in Southern Hemisphere or Antarctic Circle and 12 hours of daylight on equator. Earth at September equinox. As you can see, once again the Earth has reached the position on September 22nd that the direct sunlight is falling on equator at 90 degree angle. All location on Earth will experience 12 hours of daylight or you can say equal length of day and night. Earth at December solstice, direct rays of the sun will fall on Tropic of Capricorn at 90 degree angle. As you can see, the northern hemisphere will experience darkness near Arctic Circle and southern hemisphere will experience 24 hours of daylight at Antarctic Circle. Thank you for watching the presentation.